Hey, good morning. I want to do a one year update on the solar system. And we've been in the house, we've actually had the solar system a little longer than a year and a half, but we were off in Texas for a few months and I wanted to have a full year's worth of actual being here using the system before I did this, this update. And that's where we are about now. Uh, I guess we've had it probably about 15 months. And um, so about 12 months worth of full usage. And I wanted to just, I titled this The Good, The Bad, The Solar System Update, um, you know, because it kind of fits our channel. And I want to give you the truth. I want to tell you the good and the bad. Um, if you've watched my other two vlogs, if you haven't, I encourage you to go back and watch those first. Uh, there are two vlogs on the installation and initial setup and use of the solar system. Uh, be advised that I've learned a lot about this system in the year that I've been using it. And uh, I didn't know everything when I did those two vlogs. So there may be some things that I say or even don't say that um, are wrong. So if you catch me on that, that's okay. I'm just telling you up front, full disclosure, uh, I wasn't quite as educated back then. I know a lot of you guys have, have, are interested in our solar system. I still feel super confident with LES Solar, which is the, the company that uh, we bought ours and, and had it installed with. Um, I love these guys. They're a family. They do good work. Stand behind their, their work, and I appreciate that. Now, the positive thing about our solar system. We have honestly had zero to no issues at all for the year that we've been using it. Uh, our electric bill, because this is a hybrid on-grid, meaning we're still tied to the electric grid, but our usage of that grid kind of depends on how we live our life and how we use our battery and how we use the sun. And we're pretty good at it. Uh, we, we try very hard to make sure, forgive me, I'm up here in the front under the mango tree and every now and then some of these loud scooters go by. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, we're real good about trying to do most of our high energy use things during the day when the sun's up. So it's free. Uh, pool pump. I only run my pool pump during the, the, the day. Uh, water pump for we try to get dishes washed if we want to wash the car or We're going to add water to the pool or we're going to water the grass or put water on the garden All those things are done during the daytime because that power is free for us At night we try to curb strongly our usage of high energy electrical things Sun goes down here about 530 at night this time of year comes up at 5 30 in the morning doesn't get strong enough till about 7 to really start affecting our panels so from 7 a.m till about oh say 4 30 p.m we have good strong solar here and that's when we try to get most of our things done now there are things at night that you just, obviously you have to you warm up your dinner if you eat past 5 30 in the microwave or the oven or uh, you wash some dishes before you go to bed so you don't wake up to ants all over them in the morning um, those kinds of things but the really, really big uh, energy use items we try to take care of when we have sun. And then our battery kicks in. We have a 200 amp hour lithium ion battery. And most uh, at night, it runs one air conditioner, one one, one, one horsepower air conditioner, a couple of uh, ceiling fans, uh, full size refrigerator. Of course the pool, I mean, not the pool, we don't do anything with the pool at night, but the water pump has to maintain pressure on the system. So it does come on every now and then just to maintain that pressure. Uh, so you got that and then another little things like the CCTV system and alarm clocks or whatever. That battery pretty much does a good job of getting us through the night. Uh, there may be an hour or so. We don't actually, we have it set to not pull from the battery until 6 p.m. So from about 5 to, to 6, we are pulling from the grid. There's not enough solar power to do anything and the battery hasn't kicked in yet, so we are pulling from the grid. Same thing in the morning, maybe an hour, hour and a half max that we're pulling from the grid, that's every day. So after a month goes by, our, our average electric bill has been uh, just under 1,500 pesos a month. It's not bad. I calculated um, what our power bill would be <laughs> if we didn't have solar and it would be high anywhere between i figured between 18 and 20,000 a month pesos that's anywhere from 300 to 400 a month it's a pretty high electric bill 
So we're saving money. And I also calculated it to take us about three years to pay this system off with the savings we have from our power. We may actually even beat that. Uh, very possible that we're going to beat that. So that's the, that's the, and then there's another positive. We didn't know it was such a good positive until just recently. <laughs> so let me kind of explain this, the positive and a negative at the same time. We know I started noticing some issues with our with our you know I can monitor the system with a, a couple of apps on my phone, and a lithium ion battery ideally should not just charge below 20%. It helps the battery, from what I understand, um, and I'm not a power person, but it helps the battery maintain its life expectancy. So you shouldn't be discharging below 20% very often. Well, I started noticing uh, about a month and a half ago, two months ago that um, well, it was sometime after we got back from Texas uh, I started noticing the battery was discharging below 20% um, 17 uh, 15 even one morning I noticed 7% and I know that can't be good so I contacted Elias Solar told him what was going on Ben verified what I had said was that in fact happening um, fast forward a couple of weeks um, basically they said that it could be the battery monitoring system on the battery is called the BMS it's on the battery itself they have no way of, of diagnosing it uh, it has to go back to the supplier which is who they buy their equipment from to do their installations so sad but it had to happen if we wanted to hopefully keep this battery you know uh, lasting a long time uh, they had to come pick it up <laughs> take it to Manila and was supposed to be just a week turned into three and uh here's the one thing about um guys you're just gonna have to i don't know i don't know if i'll ever get used to it it does kind of drive me nuts but communication yeah how important that is in the u.s right we we expect companies and businesses to communicate on a regular basis about things that are being repaired or updated or whatever here um and, my, and this is a guess on my part. LES wasn't responsible for doing the diagnostics. It was their supplier that was doing that. They just took it down there and were going to bring it back for me. Um, but they were my contact. I didn't know who the supplier was. I didn't have a contact number for the supplier. Otherwise, I'd have called them myself. But they're all I had. So after a week went by, I, I, I wanted an update. Didn't really get it. Kept bothering them. You guys, I need an update and an update. And and their and their way of doing things here is if they don't have any new news, they just don't really communicate. So <laughs> and in a strange kind of sort of way, I understand that. No, uh, you know, no news, I guess, is you know why. But for my own peace of mind, I needed to know that somebody was looking at that battery and making some effort to get it diagnosed and get it back to me. And here's why. During that three week period that we did not have a battery, I discovered something new about our system. And that is, uh, even in the daytime, when the sun's up, if Torelco, our power company, goes down, goes a brownout, and there's no battery, we are dead in the water. Because from what I understand now, the inverter has to have power and the inverter doesn't take power from the panels. It takes it from the battery and it takes it from the grid. And so if the battery's not there and the grid is down, there you go. So we got to feel all 14 brownouts that went on while our battery was gone to Manila. 14 of them, that's how bad our power grid is here. We had never experienced that in the full year that we had, so that's the positive. We'd never had to experience a brownout here. Because, God, if, if three weeks looked like that, imagine what a year looked like. That's a positive. The negative was not having our battery. <laughs> a fast forward, battery finally came, made, it, made its way back. They did not find anything wrong with the BMS, which is a little, uh, you know, concerning because we still don't know why it was discharging. Uh, the supplier made a recommendation for LES to make some changes in the programming on the inverter and for us to monitor it and our battery's working. I mean, we're we're using our battery um, And I haven't noticed it yet, but they 
like I said, they made some adjustments. I'm not totally sure all the adjustments they made, but they are monitoring it to, to make sure that, you know, we're still okay. So we're back in action with our solar system. Uh, we are, we feel just super grateful. Um, I guess in a way it was good to have to have experienced that. It wasn't the best timing with a newborn baby coming out of the hospital and having no power for day after day after day. Um, but that being said, we, we certainly now understand the benefit of having that system. And just affirms that the fact that we made the effort to spend the money to put it in was a good call on our part. You know, sometimes you just don't ever know if you're making the right decision or not. I kind of thought I was because I had a solar system down in the Dominican that I really uh, liked having. But I didn't live there on a regular basis, so I didn't really know how effective it was. Here I know. We live on this uh, 24 hours a day. So uh, we've gotten really good at using it. We're really happy with the system. Um, some things, are just a little word of advice, uh, this mango tree up here in the front had gotten pretty big and was actually blocking uh, my panels for part of the day. So um, I did have somebody come out and do some trimming, and this, this will fill back out. It looks a little sparse right now, but it, it will eventually fill back out. But this time of year, the sun is really low uh, in the southern sky, so the angle is pretty sharp, and this was blocking a big big chunk of our panel charging so we got that when they came down to they pointed that out to me when they came to get the battery so I had somebody immediately come out and do some trimming and and we now have um, you know we're getting a full charge on it no problem and we weren't really experiencing any issues with it before but this does and especially this time of year when the Sun is so low in the southern sky and is not up as long as it normally is in the summer uh, this will just help our, our panels to do an even better job. So Something you might want to think about pay attention to your trees when we installed it this this mango tree wasn't quite that big <laughs> anyway um, So that's really it. I just kind of wanted to um, Touch base with you just kind of let you know how things were going with it um, I, I don't I'm not gonna give you a lot of details as far as what we paid for this system and all all that is in the other vlogs I don't have it committed to memory. I do know that I figured it would take us about, I think I just mentioned this, three years to pay this system off with our savings. We may actually even beat that. So I couldn't be happier about that. My goal is to eventually add another 200 amp hour lithium ion battery to this system. Just didn't have the money. The batteries are the most expensive part. I just didn't have the money at the time to, to have two of them. But our goal is to eventually do that and even add maybe an air conditioner or two to our house. We never expected to have a 24-hour air-conditioned home like we have in Texas. We don't need it. This home is very open, lots of windows and big doors, and we always get a good breeze. And this time of year especially, it's nice. It's just nice to have fresh air. Uh, but there is times of the year, especially, you know, uh, June, July, August, uh, even April and May, where it can be kind of brutal here. Uh, humidity's higher, sun's stronger, not as much of a breeze, and um, it would be nice to have a little more air conditioning in the home. So that's a goal that we're working towards, but uh, as it is, we're doing okay. We're doing just fine. Uh, everybody's comfortable, and uh, the system's working great. Let me take you in the pump room real quick, show you the uh, system one more time. There's our big blue battery. And let me tell you, that thing takes four or five adult men to move it. <laughs> it's really heavy. Um, here's our automatic uh, transfer switch. This works automatically during a brownout. Uh, and it looks like right now we're in a brownout because it is switched, it goes down this way. We are switched to emergency power. now. Middle of the day, full sun, we've got a battery, so our inverter is working off this battery. And the sun is cooking everything else for us. But as you can see, it, this happens, unfortunately, all too, all too frequently. Once Torelco comes back online, this will automatically switch back to uh, that as a backup system. But for now, the battery's our backup. Once the sun goes down, if Torelco's still 
still not up, we will still be functioning. So that's good. This is the inverter. Uh, it shows you uh, basically what the power, what the panels are bringing in, what the battery's condition is right now. You can see Torelco's got an X right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, means Torelco's down. And this is our actual real-time usage. So battery's 100% charged. Uh, it'll continue, it'll, be, it'll stay 100% until the sun goes down. And it kicks over to that. And we're pulling in about a nominal amount of electricity, 1.5 kilowatts being brought in. And our, our panels are working 4.6, uh, 4.5 KW, KW, so full strength there. So that's our system. Nothing too terribly fancy, but it sure does work, and I'm sure glad we got it. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, guys. Listen, been trying real hard to, to, to get better about answering comments, responding to comments. So I do check those about every two days now and reply to any of the, any new ones that come in. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you with your solar system or explain something to you, or maybe I confused you somehow and I need to clarify, don't hesitate to, uh, to send me a message, okay? We're going to cut that off right here. Update. The good, the bad, the solar power update is completed. Have a wonderful day. The good. The bad. The Philippines.